everyone, it's Tammy. Um, new laptop, new webcam, so I'm still getting used to it, so bear with me. Um, I haven't made a video since June, which was literally hours after my last surgery is when I made that video. And um, I have gotten a lot of comments since that video. People asking about my well-being, how I've been doing since the last surgery, and um, has the fibrous dysplasia came back, am I still in pain? Um, first of all, um, as you can see, it's still, you know, swollen. Mm, yeah, you can see, I don't have to explain. But it's not as bad as the first video that I made. It's not as bad as the second video that I made. So that's a good thing in itself right there. The pain, unfortunately, is still there. And there's more pain now because of the incision that was made here. I've got radiating pain that goes down my neck and, you know, just pushing right underneath my jawline. It just, ugh, it hurts. Um, but other than that, I'm doing well. <laughs> um, I'm on an as-needed basis now with my doctor. He doesn't require seeing me now, but if I need to see him, I can come back anytime, obviously. Um, also with this video, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've been getting a lot of emails and I have a little cheat sheet and um, it's going to be a frequently asked questions video um, a lot of people ask the same kinds of questions in the messages to me so I want to tackle them all at once with this video so um, let's get started uh, the first one that I want to answer is a commonly asked question. Does it hurt? Does fibrous dysplasia hurt? Yes, it does. <laughs> um, all right, if you go to your doctor, um, God bless you if you actually find one that knows about fibrous dysplasia, but if you do and you go to them and they tell you that it's not painful, I have no words for that one. It's very painful. I have not met one fibrous dysplasia patient yet who does not suffer from some form of pain and require pain medication. I don't know where the doctors get this whole, you know, fibrous dysplasia is not painful. It doesn't affect you. Um, we're making the pain up because we just so love living our lives on pain medication. So to all the doctors that say it's not painful, pardon my French, but you're full of shit. It's very painful. Talk to people who know. Don't read books. Stop reading the books and start talking to the people who have fibros dysplasia. All of you doctors out there, all of you, talk to the patients. Plain and simple. Stop reading the stupid research papers that are not written by people suffering from it. Stop reading books that are not written by people suffering from it and stop basing your opinion on those. Plain and simple, talk to the people who live with it daily. Get informed Ugh. okay yes it's very painful people um so if your doctor says it's not and you're suffering from pain don't let him tell you that it's in your head or that it's related to something else especially when the pain is centered around where your fibrous dysplasia is um what type of doctor do you see for fibrous dysplasia? Me personally, because it's in my face, I see an oral maxillofacial surgeon. Um, 
He is the head of his department, which consists of ear, nose, and throat doctors, eye doctors, dentists, um, just all kinds of specialists that are related around the head. If you have fibrous dysplasia, like in your leg, go see an orthopedic doctor. Hopefully he'll be informed enough to know what fibrous dysplasia is. Um, I can't really point you guys that have the fibrous dysplasia in other areas of the body to a doctor specific for that because I don't have that there. Um, my friend Kat has fibrous dysplasia in her leg and um, there's a link to her YouTube channel in the sidebar or wherever the sidebar is going to be when I upload this video. I'll post the link there to her channel and um, she can probably direct you to where you can go if you have fibrous dysplasia um, in other parts of your body. Me personally, I have it just in my face, so um, oral maxillofacial surgeon, ENT, um, dentist, eye doctors, those are the specialists that work with me. Um, what kind of medications work as far as pain medications? I'm not a doctor and um, definitely not a pharmacist. For me, I bounced around for pain medications. I've been on Percocet, I've been on Darvacet, I've been on Loracet, I've been on Oxys. Um, for me, for, for me and, you know, my body and, you know, my type of pain, I found that Loracet or um, Oxycodone, I believe that's like Loratab or something, don't quote me on it. Those are the two that work the best for me. Now my friend Kat, she's on pain medication as well, but she takes Norco. So it's really different with everybody's body as to what is going to work. If you get put on a pain medication and it doesn't work, don't give up. Go back to your doctor. Try something else. It might take a combination of two different pain medications, sometimes three, until you get your relief. Just don't give up in the pain medication department. You will get relief. Um, I'm looking at my time on here. It's limited to 10 minutes, so I'll hurry up. Um, what does it affect health-wise? Um, I'm assuming you mean, does fibrous dys dysplasia affect other, you know, medical problems? Um, I've read it causes, like, high blood pressure, it causes depression, um, it causes anxiety, and it causes, um, in some patients, weight gain, and some patients, weight loss, and, um, it's just, it's different <laughs> with everybody. It's really different. Um, for me, it causes the anxiety and the depression. And, you know, it's just different with everybody else. Um, my time is kind of running low on here right now. So, um, is it hereditary? Kat has already answered this. And I'll answer it for those watching my video. No, it is not hereditary. My parents don't have it. Their parents didn't have it. I am literally the only person in my family right now that has it. So, no, it's not hereditary. You're not going to pass it down to your kids. Don't worry about that. And um, so, yeah, there's the frequently asked questions. Um, since I have a couple of seconds left in this video, I just want to say thank you to everyone who views my videos and supports me in my um, my mission to help others with fibrous dysplasia. Also in the sidebars I will be putting links to some websites that you can go to for more information. So um, thank you. I love you guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.